early 2017. 15 of South Africa's top fashion design students were selected to take part in the 12-month Edcon Design Innovation Challenge. Edcon's bold move towards locally sourced products makes this annual intake of talent form part of a pipeline for young emerging designers. Edcon is interested in developing designers because it's part of our transformation objectives of ensuring that we develop talent in the communities in which we operate. The challenge starts with 21 steps to retail practical design and entrepreneurial training leading up to what is called the finale. But really, this is just the beginning. Because the designers are taken in-house by Edcon for a major learning opportunity as design interns. I don't think there's any better place to learn business skills here. In Heritage Month, the students join forces with Proudy South African and David Lale for a powerful showcase. I think we are claiming the space that we have uh, been asked to take over and, and we would not have been able to do this without Edcon. For us, to collaborate with Edcon is, is a wonderful time and I think exciting times because we believe in Proudy South African, products made in South Africa by South Africans and making sure that we can distribute it through these channels. This that is happening here, for me, is what radical economic transformation is about. Radical economic transformation is about enabling these fashion designers who are working here, enabling them to get into the mainstream of the economy of South Africa. And helping them do just that, several of the young designers were featured in the latest South African Fashion Week. Young Arnold Pasha's show was said to be in the top 10 of all the collections shown. Arnold also won a competition to work with David Lalo to dress ENCA anchor Kathy Muslatlana on the red carpet the red at the State of the Nation event in Parliament. Kathy <laughs> 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 Muslatlana is on the red carpet. Kathy? And as you can see, I'm all red carpet ready. And your dress beats everybody here <laughs> today. If there's a best dressed award, I hope you get it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I want to say thanks to Edcon, Edcon Design Innovation Challenge, because it's the one that put me in this limelight now. Because it gives me the opportunity. If it wasn't because of Edcon Design Innovation Challenge, Edcon is playing a role huge important now. And now, Edcon is putting another 13 young designers through the challenge, the 2018 intake. This year's designers include two living with disability, one whose vision is slightly impaired and the other whose hearing is impaired. Edcon is going to provide funding towards the student's hearing device and assist with reasonable accommodation for the world of work. And the 2017 interns, four of them have been offered permanent positions in JET and Edgar's and two have won a lucrative contract to manufacture activewear. The others are starting their own businesses. And the collections they created during the challenge? Well, the women's wear collections are currently in key Edgar's stores now and soon it's the turn of the men's wear. The Edcon Design Innovation Challenge Pipeline is truly up and running, supplying fresh product that is proudly South African.